Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So you can see today we're got super cozy vibes going on. This is like this oversized fluffy thing that I have. I tried this on in my clothing try on haul, whatever you want to call it thing. I'll have that, you know, link too if you want to go check that one out. But forgetting that, today we are going to be doing my Best of BoxyCharm 2018. So I do have a few things that I want to say before I start this video. Um... So I just went back in my email and I actually looked. I have been subscribed to BoxyCharm since April of 2017, which will have meant that I have been subscribed to BoxyCharm for like roughly a year and uh, how many months is that? A year and eight months? A year and seven months? Something like that. I don't know. I've been to subscribe to BoxyCharm for a long time is what I'm getting at. So I feel like I have gotten and gotten rid of so many products from BoxyCharm that um, just have come in through the time. And I wanted to do a best and worst of BoxyCharm 2018. But I just have so much stuff in my collection now that a lot of the stuff that I get in that I don't want, I just give away immediately so it's not sitting around. So I don't have all of the products that would have made the worst of cut and I could go and look up every BoxyCharm of 2018 and make a list but that requires a lot of work and also even some of the stuff that was on my best I think that I have either used up some of the stuff or lost some of the items so I'm only going to do the best of the items that I still have in my collection and have not lost, broken, used up, or thrown away. With all of that being said, let's get started. So for those of you who don't know, BoxyCharm is a $21 a month subscription, I almost said prescription box, subscription box and you get five to six uh, full-size products and it can come with makeup, skincare, it varies and now they have introduced a Boxy Lux option and I will not be including anything from Boxy Lux in this video just because I feel like I haven't had my Boxy Lux long enough for me to really try out all the products and use it so this is kind of best of January through November and if I mention anything in here that came from 2017 I'm sorry I'm pretty sure all these items came from this year but I could be wrong <laughs> okay I'm done doing disclaimers so the first thing that I want to mention and that I just dropped is the Brazilian bum bum cream I think it's called yeah from Sol de Janeiro I'm almost out of it I have like two little lotion situations left and I'm about to use one of them up right now this stuff is so good it is a hand cream it's a body cream it's a moisturizer it's a lotion it's anything that you want it to be and it literally smells so good if you like the scent of the butter bronzer from physicians formula you will absolutely love this stuff and it actually does make your hands feel so moisturized and it doesn't leave like a greasy film on your hands it kind of just makes your hands feel like healthier and it makes them feel plump and nice and not dry and beautiful and I love this stuff and we got the small size of it which is weird because we usually only get full-size products this is one of the only products to my knowledge in my last years that I remember ever seeing that we didn't get full-sized of the only other thing I can ever remember is we got a travel sized set of Luxie brushes one time but this but I mean even still this is a decent amount so I'm not complaining but there we go moving on um we got this blush from Laura Geller I really like this blush it is kind of like a luminous blush this is it right here it kind of just has like a luminous glow to the skin whenever you wear this it's very pretty very dewy and pretty much self-explanatory it's a baked br baked blush so take that into consideration if you like big blushes or you don't I love this one and then I have um, I'm gonna do this eyeliner next so I actually lost the cap to this eyeliner so this is a different eyeliner cap on it so ignore this but this is from I think this is from vintage maybe it says vintage by Jessica Liebes, Liebeskind, Liebeskind, I don't know, but this is just some random eyeliner we got in our BoxyCharm, and this is my favorite eyeliner for my waterline. It's just so black, and it doesn't smudge, and it doesn't smear, and it's very creamy. I find that some eyeliners, whenever I try to like tight line, I'm very bad at tight lining because my eyes are sensitive, so anytime I get really close to my eye, my eyes automatically want to like close and freak out. But with this one, because of the fact that it's so creamy and so pigmented, I can literally just, you know, like 
touch it once and the black is there, if that makes sense. Whereas other ones, I have to kind of go over the same spot multiple times to get that pigment to show through. So I like that this one is so like pigmented because I can do it all in one time. I hope that makes sense what I'm trying to say. But next we have, this is actually my second one of these. I've gone through a complete one. This is the Double Decker Lashes Mascara from Butter London. This was my favorite mascara of all time until we got the next mascara that I'm going to mention. It's just a coincidence that all of my favorite mascaras I've tried in BoxyCharm. Another one that we had got but actually ran out of it was the Tarte... Uh, what was it lash paint mascara it's the one that has like the leopard print on it we got that in boxycharm i really liked that one but i used it up so i don't have it anymore but this one was really good so i ended up getting another one but now my favorite one is the it Cosmetics super hair mascara i find that these mascaras are very similar in the sense that they're both very like thick and clumpy but not in a bad way I like my mascaras to be like very thick and heavy on my lashes and make them look really dark because of the fact that I don't wear false lashes. I really like my lashes to, you know, like show up if that makes sense and look really thick and heavy. So if you're someone who wears lashes, you might not like that kind of thing, but that's my look. So these two mascaras are great. And now that I already have them, I'm going to have to buy more once I run out of these again. So that sucks, but... I love them. <laughs> They're one of those products where like you, it's so good that you can never go back to anything else if that makes sense. Um, yeah, anyways, moving on. So I'm gonna talk about brushes next. So these two brushes, I feel like we might have gotten 2017. I can't remember because I've been having these for so long, but these actually came in a set of three. I don't remember what, oh, the third one was another brush. It was for like, cream contour I think and I know that I broke it but I, I think I threw it away I don't remember what it was for but I used to use it for cream contour and it broke but this is the Moda, Moda Pro pointed blush brush and I love this for my blush it is so soft these brushes are amazing and they feel like so sturdy I know it's stupid but I like the way that they feel and then we have got this one too this is the crease brush this is the um the BMX 430 crease brush to be specific. And I really like this. It has like a tapered edge. You can see that it kind of slants down only on one side. See, it can turn to that side and that side. So it's really good for like the outer corner. It fits on my eyelid perfectly. So I think it really has to do with like the shape of your eyelid, but for my eyelid, this fits perfectly. And it's really good for just like blending everything out. And I love this little brush. And then the next brush that I want to talk about is from Alamar Cosmetics. Um, this is Gabby MUA's makeup brand, if you did not know who she is. She is Kathleen Light's makeup artist, and she is one of the head people over at BoxyCharm. So, yeah, anyways, she's just really nice. Background history on her, not important. But she put a set of three brushes in our BoxyCharm box, and it came with a flat one, a blending, like a crease brush, and then one of these flat brushes. And this brush is so good for cut creases. Before this brush, I never did cut creases because cut creases just don't look right on me like the ones that, you know, like swoop out and like are all dramatic. I just don't have that shape eyes for that. But um, this one's really good. Like I used this brush when I carved out my concealer for the look I have today. And it's really good. It just spreads the concealer so smoothly, if that makes sense. I don't know, I'm being weird, but this is the perfect cut crease brush. If you feel like you can't do one, get this brush. I bet you'll be able to do it. And next we have um, this liquid lipstick from Girlactic. Now I'm putting this in here not because I necessarily love the shade of this lipstick because I feel like the shade of this lipstick is just like very, you know, like nothing special. I don't know why I put so much, but it's just nothing special. It's a nice pretty red shade, but I'm happy that we got this in the box because this is in the shade Demure, by the way. But I'm happy that we got this in the box because it gave me an opportunity to test out, I can't talk today, to test out Girlactic's formula, which I have been wanting to do for a long time because they sell them at Charming Charlie, which is local to where I live. And I really like it. It's a very like whipped formula. So if you like liquid lipsticks that dry down, but they're not like too drying and they're kind of more on like the whipped fluffy side, you will probably like this formula. And 
One more liquid lipstick that we got is from Ofra. We actually, I think I've gotten two Ofra liquid lipsticks in BoxyCharm. Yeah, I did. This is my, yeah, this is my second one that we got, but I like this one the best. This is in the shade Verona, and it is absolutely beautiful. I haven't worn it in a long time, actually, but it's like a burnt red color. You know what I mean? Like that typical winter beautiful but the formula on Ofra liquid lipsticks are so good they dry down but they're not drying on your lips at all and they're like they're so thin that it almost like melts into your lips versus sitting on your lips and getting like thick and cakey so I really like these and I really like this color and last but not least we have a palette we do get a lot of palettes in BoxyCharm, especially as of lately. We've gotten a lot of palettes, and my actual favorite palette from BoxyCharm is this one, but this came for sure in 2017, because this is one of the first things I ever got in BoxyCharm. This is just like this little quad, not a quad, a, what's five? I don't know what five is, whatever. But this is just, these shades are just so unique. I've never seen, you can't tell on camera, you just can't tell. I've never seen anything so beautiful and it's the collaboration of Blink and BoxyCharm. I don't even know, I've never really even heard much about Blink, but they're just, look at these shades. Like I'm just going all over my arm, we're going crazy today. But you can't tell on camera. It's just, it's one of those things where like the shade is so beautiful that the camera can't even pick it up. You know what I mean? Look at that sheen. Even this one. They're just so pigmented and so beautiful. So that's actually my first favorite. But like I said, I think this was 2017. So we're going to move on from that and say that my favorite is this palette from Olimar Cosmetics. I think this is a lot of people's favorite palette in BoxyCharm. Actually... Most of the palettes that we get in BoxyCharm, in my opinion, are kind of like, eh, like they're just, they're okay, but they're just like boring and I'm over them. But this is such a unique palette and the formula on this is so good. They blend so nicely and this shade right here, oh my god, I have the hiccups if you see me like keep doing that, sorry. This shade right here is the most beautiful golden shade Ever, like that you will literally ever see in your life look at that that's with no flash I'm gonna put my flash on so you can see look at it now that is it's literally liquid gold and it's absolutely stunning and fantastic I would buy this whole palette just for that golden shade truly anyways guys I think that's it for this video I just wanted to quickly come show you some of my favorite items from BoxyCharm this year and let me know what guys let me know what you guys' favorite items was this year and let me know if there was anything that you didn't like as well. Like I said, there's tons of items that I did not like this year from BoxyCharm, but I think, um, like I said, most of them I don't have anymore, so I wouldn't be able to make a full video on it unless you guys really did want to see it then I will do the research and I will make a little list and I will figure everything out but as for now thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video bye